the best way of breaking up with a friend? Getting out of a toxic relationship or stuff like that. What's the best way of breaking up with a friend? For me, I just distance myself. Uh, when you want to do something, maybe I'll just give an excuse so that at least you you read between the lines. If it happens like a lot of times, then you should know that maybe Cleo just doesn't want to hang out with me. Because uh, just being straight up for me is a bit harsh. So I just decided to... Yeah, I, I can't be straight up. I can't tell you I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> in high school, yeah, in high school, because we were childish and immature, I probably tell you I don't want to be your friend anymore, but not now. Now I'll just ghost you, I'll go yeah, by and distance myself from you. But maybe maybe if, if that person does doesn't get the uh doesn't read between the lines, maybe that's when I'll just say, you know what, let's just <laughs> not hang out. <laughs> you guys are cold. <laughs> like, I would love to believe distancing is okay, ghosting is okay. But remember, we're saying this person is toxic. This person is toxic. They have a way around you. So they'll definitely still find a way around you. So I don't know what Olivia thinks because I do have such people in my life and I realize there's a certain moment in time where I say, I don't want to talk to Rufaro, I don't want to talk to Cleo. But then after two, three months, I find my dog going back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm one person, you know, like you're saying, when I love, I love. And when yeah. I don't, mm. you know, like when mm. we fall out, I'm, I'm a person, I can't pretend. And um, I, I don't know if it's bad or what have you, but sometimes <laughs> I even find it very hard to even greet you, especially after such a scenario. <laughs> I distance, you know, like I clearly distance and uh, I become unavailable and I just stay away from you for some reason. Of course, you yes, if you say hi, I don't block. I, I don't block. If you say hi, I don't <laughs> say hi. I'll keep it, I'll keep it short and simple. I kiss. I, I, I'm I just that type of person. I'm not contra, confrontational, like to say, you know, you did this to me and what I believe, mm-hmm. Kuti, you know, that's that's preschool stuff. You know, in preschool, it's so easy for someone to say, I don't want to be your friend anymore, you know. But, mm-hmm. you know, for me, I, I, I live because I once loved you, right? I leave this gap to say that there's going to come a time where you are going to need me or I'm going to need you. This is life, guys. Yeah. So mm. I would run the distance nicely and I would just be quiet and I will, you are no longer a part of my priority list. You are no longer a part of my plan. You are no longer a part of my guest list. You are no longer a part of anything. I think as human beings, it's difficult to tell someone that mm-hmm. you hurt me because I feel like if I tell mm-hmm. you that you me, I'm giving you some sort of power to say, oh, yeah. okay. So this is what Rufaro, you know, uh, you know, feels, and this is how I can really get her to be upset with me. So I'll not really tell you my emotions because I don't want to give you some, you know, that sort of power. But I feel like sometimes that's how there are some people who just go around and they do it. And if they if they if they don't get someone mm-hmm. to talk the truth that you know what, you're not a good person because you do these sort of things, so keep doing it. So do you think it's ever okay to ever tell someone that you know what, these are your weaknesses, and that's why? people don't want to hang out with you anymore. Uh, you, uh, I feel when you're someone's best friend, it's okay for you. It depends on the level of your friendship. I have people that I tell okay. that you've gone beyond board. I don't like A, B, C, D. I don't like this and that that you've done. And if you have re- realized those people really take it. I mean, Rufaro, you and me, we've gone to those extents where you tell me and I'm okay with it. But then there are just some other people who you really can't relay such a message of you've gone beyond, you have stepped on board. They always try to make you feel bad, like what Cleo said in the first place. They try and make 10 things, they 10 tables at you. If you tell them no, certain things of your character, yeah, yeah. Certain things of your character I don't like, they then twist them. No, you made me do it. That's why I acted in that way. So you just have to choose wisely, I guess. And I believe that there are three types of friends. You've got friends for a season, friends for a reason, and friends for a lifetime. 
So mm -hmm. when you go through the different emotions, then you're thinking, why do I keep finding myself in this situation with these type of people and and that sort of thing? But I feel like if I if I give you a chance and um you betray me as a friend, really I'm not the type of person who let it go and just say, ah, okay, let me let me give her another chance. Maybe she won't do it again. I, for one, do not forgive easily. So I don't know, guys. <laughs> for you, do, like, do you think it's it's wise to sort of forgive a friend that has betrayed you and let them back into your life? Mm -hmm. Once I've been done that twice, before. Before. I... You've done that. Wow. Yes. Uh, like, like you said, there are three types of friends. So I believe she she's like my lifetime friend because mm. I've known her since like way back, I think it's more than 18 years now. So, uh, <laughs> so sometimes she, you know, I was still dating this boyfriend thing. I think there was like issues with jealousy or what. Then I just told her straight up, you know, I don't like this. You shouldn't do this. And I actually asked her, why did you do this? I don't like this. You shouldn't do this. And I forgave her and we moved on and now she's one of my, she's still one of my very close friends and I confide in her. Wow, okay. Um, forgive. <laughs> I, I feel like I agree with Chia. You do forgive. Oh, you guys are so you kind. Care, but you do <laughs> forgive. But like what Cleo is saying, you say they seasonal friends, they lifetime friends and, you know, so it, if you're looking at that person and you want to work with them for a lifetime, I'm sure when you can sit down and come to a common ground, look, you've stepped on my toes, I don't like it, A, B, C, D. I mean, guys, we should be like guys. I feel like ladies, we, we are so different from men. Men do keep friendships, unlike ladies, because us as ladies, we True. tend to kusungirira sort of. When you've done something to mm. me, I will tie you up and I won't let you go. At times, I even give you as reference to people. You see, Rufaro, she hit me five years <laughs> ago. But I don't think guys do that. So at times, it depends on, on the intensity of what you'd have done. But if, if it's something that I can forgive and forget, I'll do that and let you be. Maybe keep a distance from you and then know that I don't tell you certain things. There's... There's certain things that I can share with you, and then there's certain things that I don't share with you. To add on what Tinasha said, that for me, it depends with your path. Um, it, uh, my decision is not based on that. I want to have um, a, a friendship with you that lasts forever. It, it depends on the friendship we had before. So if you do something and we had a very good path, then I can decide to forgive you. But if you do something, but we've been just friends or the relationship just started, I can write you off just like that. <laughs> you know, it depends on the history. It is their history between you guys. Yeah, you know, okay. Yeah. For me, I can, I can forgive, right? I can forgive, mm -hmm. but I will not forget because... Um, <laughs> I will not forget because in forgetting, that's when you then walk through the walk, walk along the same path that you did earlier. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, yeah. you know, like what you're saying, Rufara, is if friends for a reason, friends for a season, and you know, friends for a lifetime. I then look at this, um, look at it this way. This is how I find it easy to forgive to say, Kuti, this person was my friend for this season. Right, mm. so that season is over and it's now time mm. to move on. Then yeah. I will forgive you because one, we also need to understand that in as much as my friend is not perfect, I'm not perfect either. I'm also probably <laughs> maybe messing somebody else up and I really that's don't know true. I'm doing it and everything mm. like that. So that's what mm. then allows me then to forgive that person. Like I was saying that I then don't block you or anything. I leave, I leave room. Because we all have our shortcomings. We all mm -hmm. have something that we're doing wrong to somebody, whether mm -hmm. knowingly or unknowingly. So mm -hmm. I will forgive, but I will not forget. But if I'm to let you back into my life again, I know how far to take you and mm -hmm. how close to keep you. I'm now 
what because like i said life is a cycle we need each other at some other point in life what made you become friends in the first place what is it that you saw in that person that made you close to them i'm sure that cannot be a write off completely there is sure. something there that brought you guys together so yeah i would okay. forgive but i will not forget <laughs> 